Hello team, welcome to our mainframe class. So today we are going to discuss very important concept in the mainframe that is plants, package, bind. So this is very important to understand what is plan, how it's work. So in this video we are going to discuss in detail and also we'll try to understand with the diagram also. So let's start with today's topic. So our first topic is what is precompiler. So precompiler is used or it's responsible for dividing the COBOL and DB2 statement separately and it can take like COBOL and DB2 source code as an input and separate the COBOL and DB2 statement into a two different libraries. That means for COBOL it will use COBOL library and for DB2 it use dbrm so dbrm is nothing it's a database request model also precompiler is responsible for checking the syntax error of db2 statement before placing them into the dbrm so it doesn't check the syntax error of cobol statement or any other programming language statement so it's used like uh, generating the timestamp token of each for the specific let's COBOL and DB2. So our next topic is DBRM. So this is a database request module where syntax free that means syntax verified SQL statements are stored. And for DBRM library is a user defined PDS and syntax free SQL statements stored with the program name. So our next topic is bind. So bind is the process to find the optimized class path to retrieve the data from DB2 for SQL codes in the path. Also bind takes DBRF as the input and generate the optimized access path with the help of optimizer that considers the below factors that is table size, what are the numbers of columns retrieving and uh, numbers of rows and uh, availability of the primary key, foreign key and more. And in bind, the utility we used that is IKJFT01. So bind is used to specify the isolation level which we discussed in next slide. So our next topic is package. So package is the intermediate component between the DBRM and the plan. So package contains an optimized access path or we called as OAP that is generated at the bind step and the package is a non-executable component and it can contain one or more DBRM. So next is the plan. So plan also contain an optimized access path that is OAT and however it is an executable component and the plan used to execute the program and plan has the best access path to retrieve the data from the database using the SQL codes in this program. So runtime supervisory uh, mainly responsible to check uh, what are the timestamp for COBOL and DB2. So in previous slide we already understand what is the basic concept of plan, package, DBRM, precompiler and all. So let's combine all this in this picture. So let's understand with this diagram. So we have the source code. So in source code we have a COBOL program. Uh, so this COBOL program go under the precompiler process. Uh, so in a precompiler we run the utility under those particular COBOL program. After that uh, it creates a two programming code. First is the COBOL source code and another one is the DB2 source code. So uh, or we called as the DBRM. So this DBRM is a very important in order to create any plans or package. So when we comes here, COBOL, uh, COBOL source code has only COBOL related stuff. And this code again go to the compilation process. After compilation, it create the object code and then it come to the link edit process. So once it goes in a link edit process, then it will create a COBOL load module. And uh, 
this load module is used to understand the machine readable language uh, which uh, in your system and uh, this uh, source code uh, convert into the load module here in like load module uh, you understand like it's a binary format or a machine readable language so other side uh, we saw like uh, un uh, under source code you have a db2 source code or dbrm stuff so it's a all db2 related thing and it's a pre compile where utility goes to run run and uh, pre compiler separate the dbrm for you and this dbrm is again a system related thing and uh, using dbrm only you can bind the plans and package so uh, again in a dbrm we can do the bind process so we can run the utility then package will create and the package is not uh, executable format and uh, you always remember like uh, under a single plan uh, you have a multiple package so this is the bind thing and uh, here one thing like uh, in a remote bind when we talk about bind now so bind is a uh, two types one is the remote bind and one is the local bind so remote bind we need to mention the location of remote server and remote desktop and local bind so in local bind it uh, pick up default one only so a plan is executable format for sql code and a package is a non executable format code which will be aligned with your plan name and the compilation process of cobol and db2 program uh, like this only